Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment Channel. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, you know you're my favorite, okay? I mean, I love the new viewers too, you know, but like my returning viewers, mm, y'all deserve like an ice cream cake brownie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, first things first, y'all. We're going to go ahead and get into SZA. Okay, SZA is apparently gearing up to release some new Mew Mew. Okay, I don't know. She's teasing a new song, right? And the song sounds pretty dang good if you ask me. Okay. Uh, but I hope that, like, you know, if she's teasing this song, she's also teasing her new album. Okay. I don't care about your next single if it don't come with a new album. All right. We are approaching two years since SOS. It's time for a new project boot. Okay. For real. Because low key, like, you've been teasing your new album since, like, December. Okay. You think your fans can keep, you know, living off your lies? for a while no okay um lies can only feed your fans for, for so long all right um like i told y'all all she do is sing and lie okay that's it she's a singer and a liar all right now i am excited though hopefully you know she doesn't scrap this project because you know SZA will tease a project and then not come out okay that's the type of girl she is okay that type of stuff that she be doing is like girl all right girl let's go ahead and put the song out but low key though okay. i'm really 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 ready um, for SZA's new era, okay. I'm excited to see what she. I'm excited to see what she does, you know, from the SOS era. You know, moving on from that era, I'm excited to see how she moves on and how does she, you know, what I'm saying, navigate, you know, from that time, you know, because that was a big era. You know, the SOS album, like that, that's like one of her biggest albums, like ever in her career. Like, you know, that's the biggest it's gonna get, maybe, you know, unless this new project does well too. Um, but. I'm excited. Hopefully she don't flop, okay? You know, they be saying that, you know, your fourth album, you kind of flop. You know, it's a fourth album curse, okay? Um, child, I don't know. What y'all, what y'all thinking? What y'all thinking? You know, because the fourth album curse kind of is real. But, child, we're going to have to see. We're we going to see, okay? But everybody loves SZA. Like, she's one of the most streamed um, monthly listeners on Spotify. She has the most monthly listeners on Spotify <laughs> from streams, okay? Period. Uh, but I'm excited to see how she grows. Yeah, that's what my thing. I'm excited to see, like, you know, where she goes from here. You know, because she's already at a big, big point in her career. Like, you, like, can you get bigger than this? Can you do more numbers than this? You know what I'm saying? But yes, I'm excited, y'all. Let's move on to this next topic, y'all. Okay, yeah, moving on to Miss Ice Spice. Apparently, Ice Spice is, um, you know, she was asked about, um, you know, inviting Taylor Swift or Nicki Minaj to uh, one of her concerts because, you know, she's going on tour. Ice Spice is going on tour, okay? And from her response, it just seems like Ice Spice, um, you know, has no issues with, between Nicki, all right? Everybody's trying to wonder, like, okay, hmm, so what's going on with you and Nicki right now? Um, as you all know, recently she said that, like, you know, she feels like she doesn't have to respond to any of it. She feels like, you know, her responding to it is going to make it more of a bigger issue. You see what I'm saying? She here? feels like if she replies, it's going to make it an even bigger, bigger deal. Okay. Um, I see where she's coming from. I do. But I don't know. Anyway, this reporter was being real messy, asking about Nicki Minaj and Taylor Swift. Okay. And um, here's what she said. Oh, and have you invited Nicki and Taylor to pop up maybe on a few tour dates? I, you know, they're busy, they're busy they're ladies, right? On sold out tours, congratulations to them. Yeah, but if you want to invite them, you're on entertainment tonight Well, right now. they know they're always welcomed. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you we'll so much. You first off, first off, I'm like, the media training is like, hold up. Like, Ice Spice is not playing with y'all. She said, you know, they're always welcomed. I'm like, who the fuck is this? Who is this? Like, the media training had me gagging. I'm like, oh my gosh, she's really evolving, though. Okay? I, 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 I see you putting the... Listen, when the person put the work in, I'm going to always give you your tens. I don't care what you're doing. I'm going to give you your tens. If you don't eat, you don't eat. But she ate that little one. She ate that little interview. Like, I was like, okay, real professional, real, like, real classy, real A-list. Like, I'm like, okay. It seems like her team is trying to um, rebrand her. You know, perfect her as an artist, okay? And trying to get her to, you know, clean up her act a little bit. Because, you know, like, recently, like, what she's been doing hasn't been working no more. So they got to, you know, get her to, you know what I'm saying, be a little, little more professional, give her a little bit more classiness, you know, give her a little bit more of a new sound. Um, you know, like, she's even lost a lot of weight. You know, I'm not saying that weight is the big factor. You never know what people are going through behind the scenes. But she's trying to, like, you know, rebrand herself, Okay. Um, now that's not bad. That's cool. But like, you know, if you rebranding yourself, your music has to also go through a rebrand as well. That in, in like in, in a good way. Okay. Yeah. You can switch up the sound, but like the music got to also add up to that too. Okay. 
But yes, all right. Um, how do I feel about Taylor Swift or Nicki Minaj popping up to an Ice Spice concert? Um, I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I'm not saying it's a bad idea or good idea. It's just I don't know how I feel about that, you know? And honestly, after the whole incident thing that happened, you know what I'm saying? The whole, like, text message thing, I don't think that Nicki needs to align herself with Ice Spice anymore. Um, I think she should just let her continue to, you know, be distant, okay? If she see her, she see her, cool, cool, cool. But, like, I don't really think that, like, you know... You know, I don't know, okay? Interviewer was real messy, okay? But, hey, that's their job, all right? But, yes, comment down below. How do you feel about that? People are also talking about how, oh, she took Nikki's wig. She stole Nikki's wig. <sighs> At this point, child, I don't know what's going on. I think it's all a part of the rebrand. It's all a part of, like, the marketing, you know what I'm saying, to get everybody talking. Like, no shade. That's really what it is, to get people talking and people discussing, all right? But, yes, comment down below. Let's move on to this next topic, okay? Oh, well, well, well. Moving on to the EBT Awards, okay? The EBT Awards. Wow. Okay. <laughs> um, they gave Nicki Minaj the best female hip-hop artist of the year, okay? Um, some people wanted to go to Sexy Red. Oh, Sexy needs to say... No, okay. Um, she did not need that award. I'm sorry, okay? Um, yeah, she had a great year, and she's popping, and she's with Drake, and da 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 and this and this, but... I'm sorry, but, I mean, Nikki deserved the award, of course, right? Cool. But no shade, though. The EBT tried to do a switcheroo. They thought they was going, um, you know, nominate Nikki and have her win an award, okay? And they thought that Nicki Minaj was going to pay any attention to that, was going to post it, was going to repost it, was going to announce it, okay? And let me tell you why they gave her the award. Not because, not because, all right? They want Nikki to, you know, give her fl get her flowers. Because if that was the case, you all wouldn't have made them disgusting tweets about Nikki a few years ago. You all would have, have been giving her her awards for the past five, six years, okay? Because y'all stopped giving her that, you know, the hip-hop award, okay? Y'all stopped, stopped doing that. They're doing it now because they see the impact Nikki has. So if Nikki tweets out, okay, thank you, BET, for the award, da-da-da. Thank you, BET, thank you, BET, da-da-da. Guess what? That gives BET more press and more promo. Their show is flopping now. And they have realized without these A-list celebrities, a.k.a. Nicki Minaj, a.k.a. Beyonce, a.k.a. all these A-list stars who made up your show to be what it is today, when you snub them and when you disrespect them and you treat them like trash, you don't have any show, okay? The BET show now is full of, like, upcoming rappers, um, you know, flopping female rappers, most of the show was flopping female. Like, I was like, oh my God, all these rap girls on stage, what's going on? EBT is trying to get back in good graces with Nikki. And by giving her that award, I'm sorry, it's not enough. It's not enough. That's not enough for me. Yeah, because y'all, you know, in case y'all don't know the history behind Nicki Minaj and the hip hop female award, Nikki won that award for five years, five or six years in a year, and like consecutively, okay? When Remy Ma came out, they gave her the award. When Cardi B came out, they gave her the award. When Megan came, like they, like, like they gave all of like Nikki's opponents at the time the award in spite of Nikki. Okay, but honey, but let me tell you now, y'all messed up. But I'm glad that Nicki Minaj is not, you know, giving any attention to, um, you know, the show. You know, she's not giving them any clout, any press, any attention. None of that. Okay, none of that. Um, Nikki's on a sold out world tour. Okay, she's having the population of a BT Awards show night every single night and then some okay um the attendance of that show I mean I feel like the venue gets smaller and smaller every single year okay I mean it's like what's going on here okay do not try to you know play chess now because your show is flopping all right don't do that because EBT I see through your games I see through your games Beyonce don't come in no more but Nicki don't come in no more Drake all the big names don't show up there, okay? None of, none of them do. But yeah, y'all, it's kind of crazy to see how this you know, has been going. Um, don't do her dirty, okay? Don't do her dirty. Just, you know, always keep it respectful. Keep it cool, okay? But yes, let's move on to this next topic, y'all, all right? I mean, damn. Normani can't win for losing at this point. Normani was scheduled to have a BET performance on the, um, you know, the stage, right? She had got an injury in rehearsals. Wow. For her debut album, her first live TV performance. You get injuries in rehearsals? It's, it's something right now that God is telling her to slow down. God is telling her something. God is telling her not right now. It's something because, like, I just don't get that. 
People are saying, oh, she ain't meant to be famous. I ain't saying all that. Now, she's talented. The girl's talented. But why can't she, like, I don't know. Like, it's like things don't be working out for her. And it's just, like, it's sad. Like, why don't it work out for you, girl? Like, what's the tea? Like, what is the coincidence of your first ever live television uh, performance of your debut album? You getting, you getting hurt. Like, I don't know. It has to be God telling her something, okay? Uh, but no shade, though. Um, I don't know. Maybe she wasn't meant to be, you know, meant to be associated with the BET Awards. You know, sometimes, you know, people don't really like, you know, the BET Awards. You know, the black community is pretty critical on, you know, other black people. So maybe that could have, you know, harmed her career a bit more. You don't, you just don't know, like, what could have happened if she did go on stage. Maybe she could have had a wardrobe malfunction. Maybe she could have had an injury on stage. Like, you just don't know, you know? So she's like, you know, like, sometimes people be saying, oh, she missed out, she missed out. But maybe she was protected. Maybe God was protecting her from something, you know, even worse than what happened in rehearsals. You know, you just never know. You never, never know. And, like, that's why me personally, like, no low-key, no shade, like... When things like that happen, it's always a reason behind it. It's always a bigger reason. But it's just sad. It's, it's like, like everything that she tries to do, it doesn't work. You try to put out a hit single, you don't get a hit. You, you thought your album was going to pop. It, it's not popping yet. Heavy on it yet. I feel like it's going to pop, but not right now. The first week album sells low. You can't even get on stage to perform. Your, your fucking ankle popping and cracking. It's like, what's going on? Okay? Um. Yeah. I don't know. I feel bad for her. I really do. Y'all. Do y'all feel bad? Because I know some people, some people are just like, child, this ain't for her. This ain't for her. I mean, it is for her. She has fans who like her music. So, you know, it's definitely for her. You know, it's just like something is going on right now. I can't, and I can't quite put my finger on it. But this Normani era just feels cursed. The rollout itself, it just feels like, what is going on? Okay. I'm getting concerned for her. I'm getting a little bit concerned for this girl. Okay. Because I want her to be successful. I do. Everybody calling her talentless. She can't sing her album flopping. Oh, you can't perform on stage now. All that. Okay, all that. I just want to see the girl win. Okay. But yes, comment down below. How do y'all feel about that? Let's move on to this next topic. Because that... <laughs> girl, you can't perform on stage? <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, y'all. Moving on to my sister, Chloe Bailey. Um, Chloe Bailey performed at the BT, um, you know, show. Cool, 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 cool. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and she did great. She did amazing. Okay. Um, I'm so happy for her. You know, she's on stage doing her thing. She was performing for the Usher, um, you know, tribute. Because it was Usher's night last night. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was nice. It was great. It was great. Okay. Um, but low key, um, I kind of wish that Chloe Bailey performed some of her music. Because no shade, no shade. Um, her career is flopping right now. Okay. And Parkwood, Beyonce, you're not helping her at all. I don't know what, maybe, maybe you are financially behind the scenes. I don't know. Maybe you are giving her great advice. I don't know, but like to the forefront, it gives you don't, you're not helping her. It gives you aren't like, you know, giving this girl some like good, like what's going on. Okay. Um, she needs, she, she needed the, she needed the promo for her new singles on um, that BT stage. Okay. That's my point. Okay. That's my point here. Don't get me wrong. Chloe Bailey ate the, you know, the, uh, Usher performance. Okay. But like, <laughs> All right, where's your new song? Boy, bye. Um, F your status. What's going on? Okay. I don't know. Maybe the BT Awards just said, girl, yeah, we get that. You know, you have new music out. But, uh-uh. Okay. We gonna have to, we need to get you, um, you know, the usher. Okay. BT said, yeah, girl. Yeah, you can perform. You can sing. You can dance. Yeah, you can twerk your butt big. <laughs> Do the usher um, performance for us. Okay. And your little flop ass music. Yeah, keep that. You can keep the, you, you can keep the trash too. Okay, that's what that's what they said. Okay, hey, perfect. Y'all keep the trash too. Okay, but congratulations, honey bun. Congratulations. Okay, let's move on to this next topic. Okay, okay, y'all. Moving on to my sister Tyler. Okay, um, you know, child, they was mad. Child, they was mad. Um, Tyler has won the award, the BT award. Okay, and and this particular award, right? Um, <laughs> child. Um, Sexy Red was also nominated in this award, okay, uh, for the Best New Artist Award. The audience was chanting, um, get it, uh, eh, get it, uh, eh, that her, um, her song, all right? Um, and then that's when they were mad that Tyler won the award, okay? Um, that's crazy, okay? Imagine you about to get your award and the whole audience is chanting some other girl's name, 
okay? But, you know, no shade, but that just shows you the demographic of the BET Awards, okay? Um, it shows you um, the type of people that, um, you know, they like, okay? But low-key, though, I'm not even mad at that. I'm not even mad at that because I feel like low-key, like, uh, Miss Red, you know, she should have won Best New Artist. But Tyler also has had a good run as well. But Best New Artist, I could see it going to Miss Red. You know, it makes the most sense, okay? Um, you know, Tyler, she's big. She got hits. You know, well, uh, she got one one big hit, Water. Um, but Miss Red, she's putting out hit after hit after hit. And people feel like it's just weird because, like, Tyler only has, like, two big songs out right now. And why is she getting this award? Like, she barely worked for it. She barely got it. You know, she barely, you know, got the status like that, okay? Um, me personally, I don't know. I think that's kind of, like, rude to say, like... I don't know, like, what you mean, like, somebody barely got it? Like, girl, don't do that weird one, okay? Don't do not do that weird one, okay? Because I will backslap you in a heartbeat, all right? Um, but, yes, congratulations to my girl, Tyla. Um, and, you know, low-key, Red, you should have got the award, low-key, don't trade. But congratulations to both of y'all. Um, let's move on to... Did Miss Ray even win any awards last night? I don't know. We're going to see. Let's move on to this next topic. Everybody say thank you, Rihanna, Okay. Um, you know, Rihanna's out here doing charity work, okay? Glorilla's Thank God It's Friday is predicted to debut around 48 on this week's Billboard Hot 100. It will mark the biggest solo debut of her career. Thank you, Rihanna. Can we get a thank you, Rihanna, in the chat? Yep, 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 okay. Um, okay, period. Congratulations, all right? Um, you know, people are saying that, um, she's out here ending JT, okay? She's doing way better than JT, um, X, Y, and Z. Um, you know, because there wasn't a beef, you know, JT and Glorilla, you know, they had a little issue going on, right? Cool. But no shade, y'all, but it took an entire mixtape and two singles for Glorilla to have the hype that she has now. And a Rihanna, you know, announcement, okay? JT has all the hype with only three singles out. I'm like, that's it. Like, three singles, okay? So let's not be weird here, okay? The reason why Glorilla is popping these days because she's, you know, with Megan, she's getting Rihanna shout outs, okay? And now she's showing her butt more. You know, she's twerking in music videos now. All right. You know, she got a thong up her ass now. Okay. You know, that's why she's getting numbers now. All right. Um, and it's no shade at all. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just p pointing out it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, so the whole, like, you know, JC versus Gorilla thing, that's just like, okay, let's stop doing that weird one. Okay. Let's just stop doing that weird one. All right. Um, but no, um, congratulations, Glow. Um, TGIF is definitely one of her better songs that she's ever made. I can definitely say that. Um, it's really catchy. It's really, you know what I'm saying, fun. So now I, I see why Rihanna likes it. I see why Rihanna has, you know what I'm saying, just did, you know, hella charity work for you. Okay. Um, so yeah. Um, I know people wanted a remix, which <laughs> people wanted a uh, Rihanna and Glorilla remix. <laughs> why would Rihanna come back to music for a Glorilla feature? Like some of y'all don't understand the music industry. Like the thing about Rihanna and Beyonce and certain artists is that they don't even have to hop on the song to boost the song's performance. You see what I'm saying? Like, so it's just, and what, 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 what is Rihanna going to say on the song anyway? Like, come on now. Like, what is she, what, like, what is she going to do in the song? It's 7 p.m. Friday, Friday. Like, she going to sing on that? Like, hello? Like, come on now. Um, let's move on to this next topic, all right? Okay, y'all, moving on to Miss Lotto. Lotto, 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 Latte Frappe. Um, anyway, y'all, so as you all know, she performed at the BAT Awards. Cool, 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 right? Um, now people are talking, people are discussing, they're wondering, okay? Um, is Miss Karen responding to Ice Spice behind the scene? Okay, because, um, while Ice Spice was, was performing Thank You to Ish Fart, all right, backstage, um, Lotto... Um, is saying, I'm the nastiest fart you ever, like, da, da, da. I'm like, ooh, what is going on? Like, you know, I mean, I get it. Y'all got beef. Cool, 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 cool. But, like, you know, you backstage, you know, re reacting to, you know, the, the performance and recording videos. Y'all are literally in the same building, okay? If there's an issue, address it. I'm not saying y'all got to fight. I'm not saying got to be any, any, you know, rah, rah. But it just gives real calculated and real fake. Like, it's just corny to me. Bitch, I'm the Like, give this whole rap beef up. Like, let it go. Like, let it go. Like, I don't know. Like, I just don't get it, okay? It's just, <sighs> let it go. Y'all both flopping. How about that? Y'all both flopping, okay? Um, Y'all both not popping, all right? Um, Y'all in the same building? If you was an issue, pop, pop. Okay? Two, two. 
all right? But, you know, it is what it is. They scary. They just want the rap beef. They want the clout, the numbers. Oh, child. Anyway, okay? Um, Yes, comment down below. Um, How y'all feel about this? Let's talk. Let's chat. Um, Yeah, y'all. If you want to get into it in the comment section down below, I would love to hear it. I would love to hear it, okay? But, yes, y'all, all I got for you in today's video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Tap that bell so you can get alert every single time I post a new video. And I will see you in the next one. Be safe, y'all.